Hikaru, almost a win on demand situation to be able to get to the tie breaks. How did the game go? Uh, well, the opening was, I think, very advantageous to me. I mean, the position uh, was certainly unique after about 10 moves, and I was still in my preparation, whereas uh, Eduard was not. Um, but then, then I used a lot of time, and I went wrong when I played this g4 move. Um, Bishop g4, I think, is completely fine for black, but I, I don't know if it's better for black. I mean, it's, it's a game. But after g4, for some reason, I completely forgot about this knight h4 move. I mean, I saw this knight d2, queen d4, knight d4 line, and... And then somehow I started looking at other lines and I got all, all confused, jumbled it all up. And, and then I was probably worse, but um, immediately um, Edouard played age three. And after that, he was still probably okay, but it was, it was very hard to play and he was already short of time. So um, it, was, it, was, it was quite nice, you know, to, to win today, obviously, with black. Um, and now I guess I'll play a playoff. Right now in such a situation where you've got the black pieces and you know you've got to go for the win, how do you decide on your openings? Give us some insights on that. What kind of position do you aim for and did you get it today? Well, I played something solid. It's, uh, you know, I mean, there's there's not a lot you can do against players who are probably, I would say, 2,600 plus. I mean, you, you can't you can't just play something stupid or else you'll you'll lose. Um, I mean, who you find, case in point. But anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, you play something solid. You hope maybe your opponent plays something a little bit aggressive or something where you have, have an idea. Um, and, and you kind of just let the game flow. And I think... Um, it's, it's much easier to do that with white than with black in a must-win situation, but still, uh, you know, you just try to keep the game going, keep, keep some dynamics in the position, and, uh, and it seemed, seemed to work uh, almost perfectly today for me. Right, well, you see, you are someone who really enjoys playoffs and see, it seems to be your thing. How are you feeling going into the playoffs? Confident? Um, yeah, I mean, I think when I won in 2008, I think I was also second, third. I think I had to play two tiebreak matches to win uh, against Boo and then the final one. Um, so obviously quite nice. Uh, I think I'm playing uh, you, um, and I, I beat him in the millionaire chess in, in, in a tie break as well. So certainly I'm very familiar with him, um, but, but obviously he's a very strong player, and we'll see what happens. Preparation or just going to land up fresh on the board? Um, I'll, I'll prepare something, I think, because also I think if I beat him, then I have to play right away against Anton, so I'll, I'll have to prepare something. But, you know, it's, it's a playoff, and I, you know, I tied for first, so regardless of what happens, I'm, I'm quite happy with the result. Right, well, we're really excited to watch you in action. Good luck. Thank you.